Rose, will you have this man to be your husband, to live together in a holy marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all other, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? Steve, will you have this woman to be your wife, to live together in a holy marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all other, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I will. personality changes and then he kind of started to develop some problems with his gait and with walking and um, had some falls. We had doctored for a few different things first they kind of thought depression but it kind of continued to progress. I mean, we just told him you guys are missing something there's something I don't know there was just something wrong. So they did neuropsych testing in Iowa City and he was diagnosed with frontotemporal dementia. I don't want anybody to feel sorry for me. I mean, like, yes, it is tough. Yes, you know, there are some days where, you know, you don't want to get out of the get out of bed in the morning because you know you know that you're going to have to do you're going to have to you know help a you know a 56 year old man go to the bathroom and stuff like that. Ultimately, it's like no, I don't want people to feel sorry for me. I want. You know, I want people to understand that there are folks that are going through this. I just want people to realize that, you know, don't feel sorry for them, but offer, you know, offer some help. At the point that my dad is now, he can't he can't walk. And we have to help him up and out of his chair. We have to help him to the bathroom. I have to fix his meals. Um, you know everything, every aspect that you can imagine of life. He needs help with. He watches TV. He he can kind of talk to you if you talk to him, and you get yes no answers at this point.
would technically be theft, and I don't feel like going to jail. Good job. One of the hardest parts is not knowing what he's going through, you know, ever since he's had it, it's really impacted his communication. So we don't know what he's going through and at the same time, you know, it's hard on the whole rest of the family too as a whole. If you have a creative outlet, there's always, I feel there's always a, like a small part of you that tends to come out. Every day, you never really show who you truly are. You know, if I was having a bad day and I didn't have any other way to say it, that's, you know, music's got my back on that. If, there, if I'm feeling really, really good about something that happened, you know, sometimes, sometimes words aren't enough and that's where music steps in with me. You'll find a woman, yeah, you'll find It's a form of expression, it's a form of life, honestly. Shall we say grace? Have I ever written songs about my dad having dementia? What was that? See, the past just gets the most. I have tried uh, once or twice, but that is one subject that I can't seem to really find the right words for. There's just so many different things going on at all at the same time within my mind that it's it's tough to find just kind of the right words to say, but I can honestly say that I am trying. 